Hi guys, thanks again for tuning in and watching today. I have another knife overview for you guys here today and there's a little hint of what it's going to be. Uh, somewhere on here is the logo of the particular knife that was in collaboration with another knife maker. If you haven't guessed it yet, it's this logo right here, the Alpha Hunter Tactical Design Chad. I'm going to be giving an overview of one of the knives that I recently acquired. But before that, I want to show off another piece that was a collaboration of Chad and Brad of uh, JBB Knives. You guys have seen this before. It's the Predator with the uh, satin finish on the Predator pa pattern there. But I sent it to Brad the other week and he redid my pocket clip. Um, before it was just the kind of bent titanium. Uh, he redid it with the sculpted titanium and he managed to blend in the pocket clip so well with the existing pattern. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, the theme of the night is going to be Alpha Hunter. And before I start, I just want to say Chad is a great guy. He's, he's very active in the Instagram and the USN. And every interaction I've had with him has been nothing but amazing. Um, super quick to respond, like leaves great comments. Uh, just a great guy overall, and he has some amazing designs. He's got some. Uh, he's got a collaboration going on with Robert Carter right now. Uh, super big blade. Uh, same thing with C Knife Works, and I think Hatcher Knives. They've got the uh, the Guardians going right now, which are amazing amazing uh blades coming out so keep an eye out guys chad has some great designs and does amazing work too uh if you're not following him on uh instagram you should alpha hunter tactical design check him out now on to what the video is about uh so i recently saw this knife uh actually on instagram and it popped up on the cove for sale and just been kind of talking to Joseph who was selling the knives and just asked him hey how's the sale going uh, I wanted to get rid of some blades so I put up a couple sale posts on Instagram surprisingly I sold the blades like my Sabenza and a couple other uh, knives through Instagram instead of on the Cove which I did post it up but no one bid on the Cove but Instagram uh, Whoever was following me, actually, there's a lot more activity there, so I really appreciate you guys uh, helping me out here. And this particular knife I've been I've been looking for, uh, just because it's 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 a badass knife. Uh, let me show it to you guys right here. Yep, it is the Jay Kobach Alpha Hunter Tactical Design, the Warhorse Flipper. Now this is the smaller version. And I like this version just because it's the flipper and I'm I'm still into flippers right now. And so when I was able to get the funds to purchase this blade, uh, I was just all over. I was watching Jake Hobacks and I think I watched, sorry guys, I think I watched all of uh, Jake's videos on the War Horse run. And... It's they're great videos. Also check out Jake Hoback knives. He makes some great knives and posts great videos. Uh, but basically, this is the collaboration between uh, Jake Hoback and Alpha Hunter. You can see. Let's see if I can get to focus. You can see Alpha Hunter's Maker's Mark there. It's very subdued in this particular uh, blade, just because the acid etch is is pretty dark. And Jake's maker's mark there. You can barely make out. Which is a little different on the Quayback, so you can see it a little bit more. Um, this is also his older logo where it has his initials. Now it's just his logo itself. Uh, I believe this is a 3V. And the handle is pure titanium. With That has been anodized brown, uh, bronze and a orange peel texture applied to it. Surprisingly, 
the knife is is lighter than what I thought. I have a couple other full titanium blades that are pretty heavy, but this knife with with the uh, the fullers on the handle and everything help lighten it up and it's just a gorgeous knife I believe there were nine of these made the minis um, the full-size one there were a little bit more but those were the more sought-after ones but the mini I especially wanted just because of the the flipper and in true J. Kobach fashion it fires out like a rocket same thing with my Quayback it's amazing. Um, I'm still trying to, still waiting, see if I can get it in his books. The next run he does of the A8s, or the A10s, or the A15s, whichever. Uh, I definitely want more of Jake's knives. Right now, I am at three. Uh, let's see here. You can see there, kind of like the Quaybacks, there's an inscription. His uh, initials, 2012, to Timothy 417. It's just an overall awesome knife. Uh, whenever I show this to people, I always call it uh, my pry bar because that's that's what it is. It's it's a pry bar. <laughs> it comes razor sharp, as I've come to expect from Jay Kobach. I have three of his knives right now, and they all have the same edge. Come pretty polished, pretty sharp. And I've been actually just using this kind of like a tanto, where I use the the point here to dig into tape and cut it open. Uh, I use my knives. Uh, granted, they're not. It's not all hard use when I use them. It's really just cutting boxes open, cutting packages open. This isn't really the best uh, envelope opener just because of the blade shape but it is great at opening packages cutting cutting cardboard uh, let's get a little we already got some macro shots but let's do one pass over let's look at that beautiful blade it's just a badass shape badass blade it's a great pocket clip too see a titanium backspacer even though you can see the seams you can't really feel the seams which is good uh, I've got another hoe back overview coming up for you guys and that one's gonna be pretty special it was actually uh, another knife that I didn't come to expect to have but I have it <laughs> and I'm happy to have it um, let's do some size comparisons uh, first uh, I'm gonna do it over here let's compare it to the Predator now like I said this is the flipper version which is a smaller version uh, I believe the blade itself is uh, around three and a half or three and a quarter uh, the full size is three and three quarters to four inches but you can see here we'll just make it easy we'll line it butt to butt on this line perfect and as you can see the Predator dwarfs it which is to be expected but let's go ahead and compare it to some other knives some smaller knives that I have in my collection uh, first up uh, is gonna be my Doug Ritter mini grip Tillion which is a the mini grip is a common knife as we can see here it's a little bit bigger it's about a half inch bigger than the mini grip uh, a newly acquired one which has become one of my favorite EDC's is going to be the Kershaw uh, injection. Sorry, guys. Rexford design. Uh, yeah. The full custom Rexfords is definitely one of my grails. I'm on the hunt for it. It's a little pricey. Actually, it's a lot pricey for what they're going right now. Hopefully, that'll change in Blade or the next USN gathering. Uh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I kind of acquired these while everyone was away in the gathering so I kinda got lucky that I didn't go and had my own miniature uh, haul from the cove while everyone was away so so you can see here it's almost the same size it's about I would say a quarter inch smaller than injection 
and one other knife that people are familiar with, the Parrot 2. And as to be expected, Paramilitary 2 is bigger. Anyways guys, just wanted to do a quick overview of this knife. I'm approaching 10 minutes right now. Just want to say it is amazing. Just look how smooth that is. Whew. Now I must say that the detent on this is pretty strong. Uh, the detent on my my Plain Jane Quayback is pretty strong too. Uh, this one does not have the HRD system and I was watching the videos and uh, Jake pretty much said that because of the thinness of the lock bar he wasn't able to incorporate the uh, the HRD in this particular design which to be honest it it is super smooth anyways so I don't I mean it'd be nice the HRD is definitely a great system but this thing still fires out like a rocket whether it's a uh, light switch method or push button it fires out. It fires out more on the push button, but holy cow. Um, once you push down, you got to hold on because this thing, I mean, I know Shane, uh, what's it called? The MPR, the mini pocket rocket. Uh, I consider this my pocket rocket. It just fires out with authority. Let's see if we can get closer to the camera. Listen to it. Focus. Oh, focus on my thumb. Stop. That's close enough. Just comes out super quick. It's just in awe. This is such a great knife. You can see the fullers on there. Which, uh... Just a little taste of uh, Alpha Hunter's design. Huh. I'm just I'm just so happy to have gotten one of these knives. Um, I think it was well worth it. I ended up selling five knives to pay for the two that I got, and you know, there's only nine of these, and. I'm going to be able to get a Sebenza down the road or an SMF down the road. Uh, granted, the SMF I did sell is a little bit harder to find, but I think it was well worth it. Uh, I decided I'm more of a SNG type of guy and I'm going to be looking for the double gunner grip or the concealed carry version. But this knife, it's just, it's just special. And I am happy... Uh, to have one of these knives, I'm honored to, to, to be able to carry one of Chad's uh, and Brad's and Jake's knives. Like, it's it's great. Uh, I fully, I want to get in their books. I want to support them even more. Granted, most of my knives I bought in the secondary market. That's where you got to go. Because right now, these guys are so popular that it's, it's hard to get in the books. So, thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a good night. And keep an eye out on Instagram. I'm about to post some pictures of this. Uh, I already have pictures up of the other knife. I'm going to be doing an overview. It's going to be another Quayback. So thanks for watching. Have a good night.